so there are few crystal structures that are not of a fundamental type the fundamental type of crystal structures we have already discussed in terms of Bravais lattices there are certain crystal structures that are not fundamental but that are very important to be discussed and understood for our clear understanding of the crystal structures or structure of solid now we will discuss about that so now we will discuss some examples of crystal structure the first example that we will consider is NaCl that is sodium chloride structure you can see that at the origin we have a chlorine in this cube and here we have a sodium here another sodium here another chlorine and if we consider this at each corner of this big cube we have chlorines and uh, also at the faces we have chlorines so it's a face centered cubic structure you can clearly see but if you consider sodium and chlorine it's interpenetrating structure that means we have uh, chlorine here at the origin and the sodium comes here at the body center so uh, chlorine becomes an FCC structure sodium itself becomes another FCC structure and they are off by half 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 vector so the basis if we represent it uh, using one primitive cell then the basis would comprise one sodium ion and one chlorine ion and the chlorine ion is located at 0 0 0 that is the origin and the sodium ion at half 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 that will make a primitive cell and with that cell we can represent this entire structure now as we can see if we consider one sodium ion here there are six chlorine ions nearby so there are six nearest neighbors to the sodium ion and similarly six nearest uh, sodium ions to each chlorine ion that's uh, what is going to that's what we are going to see we can find of course sodium chloride lithium hydride manganese oxide magnesium oxide these compounds in uh, this kind of sodium chloride kind of structure let's look at another kind of structure that is cesium chloride kind of structure you can see that cesium chloride uh, here the cesium atoms at the corner of this cube and at the center it's chlorine so it's simple cubic cesium makes a simple cube chlorine makes another simple cube but they are off by half 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 so it's interpenetrating simple cubic structures and the basis for the primitive cell that comprises one cesium ion and one chlorine ion cesium ion that's located at the origin and chlorine ion is located at the center of the cube that's that makes the primitive unit cell and you can see you can look at this uh, chlorine ion at the center of this cube that will uh, clearly suggest that it has eight cesium neighbors at same distance so there are eight nearest neighbors to each ion in this structure cesium chloride uh, becu alni cuzn cupd agmg these kind of compounds are found in cesium chloride structure then comes hexagonal closed pack as the name suggests it's a hexagonal structure and it's the closest possible packing that you can imagine there is no other uh, packing that's closer than this but there are other possibilities with similar kind of packing fraction that means as close as this hcp structure so the hexagonal closed pack structure it's uh, in this plane it's a hexagon you can see this is a periodic image so the a lattice constant is this one c is this one and uh, b is this one and here you can see that at on the sorry 
on the top of this point you have one atom at the middle of the cell on the top of this point at the middle of the cell we have uh, one lattice point and on the top of this point at the middle of the cell we have one lattice point this is the situation so the basis comprises one lattice point that is one atom at uh, the origin and another at two third one third and half helium ber beryllium magnesium titanium these compounds are found in this kind of hexagonal closed pack structure now let's look at diamond structure it's a face centered cubic structure but unlike sodium chloride structure here uh, from the origin the other atom is at one fourth one fourth one fourth off so it's not that the other atom is at the center of the body so uh, we can make the basis by having one atom at 0 0 0 and the other atom at 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 that makes the basis and interesting elements are found in this structure diamond silicon germanium these uh, semiconducting materials are found in this structure this structure is very stable you know how stable diamond is it's very strong a material now let's move on to zinc blend structure zinc blend is zinc sulfide nothing else but there are other compounds found in this structure like silicon carbide aluminium phosphide gallium phosphide these are also examples of this structure well zinc sulfide may be found in some other structure as well but zinc blend structure is the the cubic zinc blend structure that you can see here on the screen is the most stable structure for zinc sulfide so here we have two fcc structures and they are displaced relative to one another by one fourth one fourth one fourth unlike half 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 for sodium chloride so here we have the zinc atom and this one is sulfur and they are at a distance of one fourth one fourth one fourth and it makes regular tetrahedron with four nearest neighbors so if you consider one atom here say this sulfur atom then it has four nearest neighbors that those are zinc if you consider one zinc atom here it has four nearest neighbor those are sulfurs and those nearest neighbors make a regular tetrahedron that's the nature of this structure 